And so if you are one that likes your face like super, super matte, then this would be something that you can actually just add. Alright you guys, so next I'm going to take this foundation. This is going to be in the shade uh, 410 and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on to my hands so that way you guys can see that. It looks like a pretty good match for my face and I'm just going to take, let's see. First glance though, it does look like it's too um, light for like the outer portion of my face, but it works actually really, really perfectly for like the inside, like where I have those golden tones. And I'm not gonna even worry about the outside. I just want to kind of test the color more so. But I'm going to go in, I'm just going to blend this out and then go in and apply my layers. Just because this will probably be quicker and just work with one side of the face. Uh -uh, I got this sponge. But it says that ultimately you're going to have like a soft coverage look. Which is what I'm here for. I love a full coverage foundation. Uh, I just like the full coverage look for me personally. At, and I have oily to combination skin. Acne prone. Because I break out super easily. So you guys can actually see like the half, this half, how full coverage it looks like. It's a big difference. This looks blotchy. Obviously, I haven't put that much foundation on that side. But ultimately, the coverage is really, really good. And it's a nice match for me. I know it looks like a lot brighter on the camera than it's looking in person because of like my lighting. But it definitely matches like the inner portions of my face, which is perfect. I like that color. You like it's my color? Face. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Yeah. I did good. I'm so happy. I will say the only thing that I did not like um, is like finding my shade. It took me so long to find a shade that was similar and that I thought wasn't too warm. So I will say that if they could, you know, try doing something a little better with their shade chart, then it may be a little more beneficial for, you know, and even, you know, a makeup artist. Otherwise, you're going to be doing extra work. And if you are a beginner and you don't know how to work it, uh, then I definitely suggest trying to find at least as close to your skin tone as you can. But yeah, that's the only thing I would have to say. Like, I literally was on the site for like two or three days just trying to make sure that I had the right one and went back and forth with this shade thinking it was too light. Let me know what your shade is and if you have tried this foundation. Um, you definitely have to work with it really fast because it will just stay in the spot. But I love that it covers really really well all right so the shades that i picked up uh, i may end up having to go in with a darker shade but this one is going to be c425 and then this one will be the c325 which is the the lighter one honestly both like really orangey and peachy so I'm hoping that I'm able to work with it lighter portions and hopefully 
I don't have to like grab another one because I do want to kind of focus on these products. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. I'm just put a little bit of that, and then we're gonna wait and see what it looks like. Cause I just feel like that one may be a little too orange for me. But I did not get a cream stick from them, only because I feel like I already have a few, and because it's gonna get warmer in my skin type. I'm not, I'd rather use a liquid than like a um, cream on myself personally if I can. Especially when it's getting warmer. you do kind of have to work fast because it does dry but i do have my beauty blender where i'm just going to go ahead and start pressing everything into the skin and i may end up adding a little more foundation just like around I'm just grabbing this brush and I'm just going to start blending my contour up into my brow and then I'm going to do my brows. Typically I don't do it this way. I like to do my brows first but because of this video because I was mainly focused on my foundation application and my skin um, and I'm just taking my brush and kind of brushing the excess into the brow it's not it doesn't have to be perfect because i'm gonna go in once i add my base and we're gonna work that base in there so that doesn't matter okay so i'm gonna go back in with that lighter shade which is this one i might end up going back to get uh, another shade but i honestly feel like this might be a nice mixture underneath my eye i don't know once i like set it if it's like bright enough because you guys know typically if you watch me i do the um the shape tape And I love the coverage that it's giving me underneath my eyes. It's definitely burning it up.
just gonna press my sponge into my skin. Oh, you out of his wheelchair? Yeah. Cause of her? Yeah. They've been working out. And just making sure that the foundation is sitting, which I feel like it is because it definitely is one of those that kind of locks in. So I'm going to go in with this bronzer right here and I'm just going to go ahead and warm up the skin. And I tried to choose one that was warm instead of like too cool. Which I feel like this one is a good warmth for me. I wanted something that was a lot, you know, reddish brown or more reddish brown. He looking at you, see? You mean, I mean y'all see the way that this is like bronzing my skin? I'm just gonna go around just a little bit lightly around my hairline and then also around my jawline. I'm just going to take my brush lightly and using the same bronzer I'm going to kind of build that up into my brow pretty much setting that cream product because we did already contour anyway so I'm just kind of bronzing that bronzing my nose and when I apply my powder it'll blend out and if you ever feel like you have like your your concealer is too matte you can just apply like a moisturizing um like facial spray and that will help move it around but i know i also have my little beauty blender so that works as well Um, beauty baking powder and we're going to apply that underneath the jawline. Guys, I actually love the way this foundation looks and I'm going to, uh, it's pretty matte. I've had it on look maybe for maybe two hours, but um, no oils have even peeked through, but I'm just going to add this on there just so I can show you guys how this looks. Um, and I'm just going to use that same brush. So this is a um, Urban Decay like mattifying powder and so if you are one that likes your face like super super matte then this would be something that you can actually just add and it takes I mean I have like a light shine right here but nothing that would cause me to like be like oh okay I don't I wouldn't work this foundation um, my overall thoughts on this foundation um, I will be wearing it again this is once again in the shade F410 love the coverage of it it gives i yeah i have nothing bad to say about it i'm gonna wear it probably for maybe one more hour and then i'll take it off but you guys definitely will be seeing this foundation again in another video 
so stay tuned for it um yeah i have nothing really bad to say at this moment so i am feeling it let me know what you guys think if you guys like it please make sure you guys stop subscribe and go ahead and give me that thumbs up if you have not and yeah stay tuned for the next video i got some new things coming for you guys Bye.